So it's the final day at the Skills Show, and for the last couple of days, we focused on traditional vocational courses and government-backed apprenticeships. Today, we're looking at the concerns that the art subjects will be marginalised under the new GCSE qualification replacement. In response to the GCSE qualification replacement, 27% of schools with Drew subjects, with drama and performing arts being taken up by 23% and art being taken up by 17%. The amount of students taking creative arts subjects has dropped, with DT down by 5.1%, art and design down by 2.4%, music down by 3.6% and drama down by 6.3%. About the creative subjects being marginalised in the EBEC, I think it's really important that we champion what happens in the UK with regards to creative subjects. I think the creative sector is one where there's a massive demand from young people. It's traditionally been you have to go to university. Um, I think people should study a creative subject because there's so many different mediums in which you can use it. Like uh, decorating for instance is just a lot more than decorating a room. You know you can use it in this medium which is like film sets. Um, as well as you know, there's expressions, there's, there's so many different mediums where you can be creative. Like plastering is not just plastering wall. There's all these costs. You know, it's just it, it opens a lot of different things um, for you to venture in. Really, the creative industry's role, I think, is to let people express themselves. I'm looking to do something creative because it's just something I'm passionate about and what I want to do in the future. So the creative industries have been represented well here at the Skills Show. However there still seems to be an air of uncertainty around what the future holds for Britain's cultural identity. This has been Elliot Weld reporting at the Skills Show for Nescott News.